الحمد لله والسلام على عباده الذين اصطفى اللهم صل وسلم على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الامي وعلى ال سيدنا محمد وازواجه وذريته كما صليت على سيدنا ابراهيم وعلى ال سيدنا ابراهيم وبارك على سيدنا محمد النبي الامي وعلى ال سيدنا محمد وازواجه وذريته كما باركت على سيدنا ابراهيم وعلى ال سيدنا ابراهيم في العالمين انك حميد مجيد الحمد لله in the likes of this month on a monday before dawn allah's beloved the master of the children of adam and that is not boasting the nur that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent as siraj al munir al muzammil al mudathir taha yasin habibullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam Abdullah wa Rasulu Muhammad bin Abdullah he emerged into this realm in body and form and as our beloved shaykh and brothers mentioned that form depicted <coughs> meanings of Allah's beauty reflections of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's names and attributes in a manner which no creature does and no creature can Imam Haddad said about him insanu ayn al-kashfi wa al-'inaya wa ruhu ma'na jumlat al-madahir he was the human that was the essence of theophany of the manifestation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's aims and att- names and attributes and divine concern and he is the spirit of meaning of all outward things So all of these things their spirit is Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. He reflects Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's attributes such that he said, "Man ra'ani faqad ra'a al-haqq." If someone has seen me then verily he has seen the truth. So we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for sending us this beloved who came and showed us how Allah loves for us to be. but he also showed us subhanahu wa ta'ala how allah is he showed us allah he is rasulullah everything about him in that there's dilala ala allah azza wa jal outwardly and inwardly fa inna khuluqa nabiyallahi kana alquran sayyidatuna aisha said verily the character of god's prophet was the quran what is character character is your inward face Surah Al-Insan Al-Batina meaning that if if we were to be able to see if we had an eye of inner sight and we could see his face or the face in which he'll be resurrected on Yawm Al-Qiyamah what is that face that face is the Quran and what is the Quran but the speech of Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala and what is Allah's speech except one of his attributes Subhanahu wa Ta'ala so Sahra Waridi said said it's an Aisha in her shyness What was she saying to us? She was saying, "Kana mutakhallaqan bi akhlaqillah." That he sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam demonstrated the divine attributes. Allahumma salli wa sallim wa barak alayhi wa alihi. That was his inward face. But Sayyidin Sayyidina Anas radhiyallahu anhu described the last day in which they saw him. The morning in which he saw his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. that one who Anas had kept his company during the 10 years of Medina he never said uff to him he never said why did you do this or why didn't you do that he was of the best of people in character the one more fragrant than musk and softer than silk sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wa sahbihi sallam and Anas bin Malik and Sayyidina Abu Bakr as-Siddiq leading and the rest of the companions in the dawn prayer the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam lifted the curtain of the hujra of sharifa of the of the apartment of sayyidina aisha and his light emerged into the masjid and from that they knew he was gazing upon them because otherwise he was all the way to their all the way to their le- or all the way to their right all the way excuse me all the way to their left and at, at at an angle that they wouldn't see him but his light shone into the masjid and from that they knew the imam knew sayyidina abu bakr and where's the khushu of sayyidina abu bakr in prayer with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
If his faith was weighed against the faith of the rest of the ummah, his would outweigh it. So imagine his khushu'ah. However, khushu'ah never departs from presence with the Prophet Sallallahu Not that of Abu Bakr and not that of us. He's the only one we can say, we can speak to in the second person in prayer. As-salamu alayka, ayyuhan nabiyu. So Sayyidina Abu Bakr, his light emerged into the masjid and Sayyidina Abu Bakr was aware of his presence, gazing upon them and he began to recede. Sayyidina Anas said, we were so joyous at Allah's Messenger standing. This is during his fatal illness. After he had been down for days and they saw him. He said, we were so uh, joyous that we are almost distracted away from our prayer by seeing the Messenger of Allah. And the Prophet ﷺ gazed upon them smiling. And Sayyidina Anas said, Ka'anna wajhahu waraqatu mushaf. It was as though his face was a page of Quran. And Allah enabled him and opened that for him, for him to see the reality of the Messenger of Allah. That he came and told us Allah, showed us Allah, reflected to us Allah, taught us to be vizgerants, representatives of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the surface of this earth. And he indicated for Sayyidina Abu Bakr to continue in his place and drew the curtain and that was the last they saw of him. But he filled them with light. A light, brothers and sisters, that they took to the horizons. Tens of thousands of them dying outside of Medina, outside of the Arabian Peninsula, and very few of them only dying and, and, and being buried in al Baqir. Why? Be that was their decoration of love. Their decoration of love was Ittibad al-Habib sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, who said, وَأَنَّ هَذَا سَبِيلِ أَدْعُوا إِلَى اللَّهِ قُلْ هَذِهِ سَبِيلِ أَدْعُوا إِلَى اللَّهِ عَلَى بَسِيرَةٍ أَنَا وَمَنِ اتَّبَعَنِي Verily, this is my way. I call to Allah on inner sight, I and those who follow me. Those who make ittiba of me, those who demonstrate the love that they have, declare the love that they have, pronounce the love that they have. By what? By being like the beloved sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam. So that drove them from their beds in the midst of the night, which is 90% of this dawah. The author of this mawlid taught us 90% of this dawah is dua in the midst of the night. And that love drove them to their lover, imitating their beloved sallallahu alayhi wa sallam who said, shall I not be a grateful slave when he would stand until his feet swelled? That love drove them from their own homes. In the case of Al-Muhajirun who made hijrah with the Prophet ﷺ, that love drove them to give all of their wealth. In the case of the likes of Sayyidina Abu Bakr, what did you leave for your family? I left Allah and His Messenger. That love drove them to confront the empires of the world. Persia and Rome and the other empires, they confronted it with what? With La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. With who are we? We are people that have been sent by Allah to deliver the servants from the uh, servitude to servants, from slavery to servants, to worship of the Lord of the servants, and from the constriction of this world to the expanse of the hereafter and the, and the tyranny of the religions to the justice of Islam. They took it. They took it out. And brothers and sisters, this love has reached you. This love has reached you and that declaration reached you. It reached you with blood, sweat, and tears. It reached you with martyrdom. It reached you with illness. It reached you with sacrifice. It reached you with hijra. My brother and teacher, Abu Abdullah, Sheikh Ibrahim, he left his home to acquire knowledge. And he met a man who had been driven from his own home to, to, to preserve this knowledge, the author of this mawlid, driven from his home when he was like 17. For doing what? For teaching Allah's book in the Masajid of Tareem after his father had already been abducted and disappeared years before. It drove Al-Habib Muhammad bin Salim bin Habib. It drove him to sacrifice, to place his own self, his own body, his own soul on the line. To what? To declare his love for Allah and his messenger. To follow his grandfather, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Muhammad bin Abdullah. To follow his grandfather, Hussein bin Ali, radiallahu ta'ala anhu wa karamallahu wajahum. It drove them, and brothers and sisters, this reached you in this manner. It reached you with a sanad that is father to son. Father from son to grandfather to great grandfather to the Messenger of Allah, people of his lineage, people of memorization of the Quran, people of knowledge. And when the bottom of a chain is, is, is shaken, the top of the chain shakes. 
So when you attend these majalis, and Abu Abdullah, Sheikh Ibrahim, or Umm Abdullah, or the others that have taken from the Sanad are delivering, realize who you're receiving from. You're receiving from a precious gem that's been transmitted from the Prophet and when that moves, he moves sallallahu This is his dawah. That is a permission that has been transmitted to you. Take it with strength. Declare this love. What is more, what is so valuable that we would sacrifice an opportunity to totally represent the Messenger of Allah sallallahu in the likes of this land? You have an opportunity, brothers and sisters, and many of the awliya have said this. Many of the awliya of various continents, various masharib have said that Islam will spread and this will be a Muslim place. The likes of, of, of those connected to this Senate, eight of them from the, 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 the ancestry of this Senate, and one of them from their lovers, from the people of Indonesia, and spread Islam to Indonesia. But what did it take? Sidq. People who were true. People who are true to Allah and His Messenger. People who put it all on the line in their declaration of love. مِنَ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ رِجَالٌ صَدَقُوا مَا عَهَدُ اللَّهَ عَلَيْهِ From the believers there are those who are true to what? The covenant they made with Allah. فَمِنْهُمْ مَنْ قَضَى نَحْبَى Some of them have fulfilled this. The likes of Sayyidina Mus'ab bin Umair, the likes of Sayyidina Hamza, and the martyrs of Uhud, and those after them. The likes of Sayyidina Hussein bin Ali, and the likes of others, and, and, and in, in recent times, the likes of Habib Muhammad bin Salim bin Hafiz, who's in your Senate, and close in your Senate, Rahimahullah. Wa minhum may yantadar, and though, there are those who are waiting, wa ma baddalu tabdila. And there are those who are still waiting, true in their covenant to Allah. That is how this is, was established. This religion was established on truth, it wasn't established on funds, it wasn't established on foundations, it wasn't established on ahzab, on parties. It wasn't established on egos. It wasn't established on claims. It was established on truth with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Genuineness with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Powerful love for Allah and His Messenger. Close following of the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And it will only be as reestablished upon these foundations. The end of this community will only be rectified by that through which the beginning of it was rectified. And brothers and sisters, Allah has opened an opportunity for you, an opportunity for us, for you and I, to connect to this knowledge in an expression that, and honestly, having spent years observing it, I don't believe that, I don't, I don't envy, I don't envy the tabi'at tabi'in who took from imams of the tabi'in. I don't envy those who took from the great imams and the great awliya because Allah brought us to a spring like that from which we can take. The opportunity has been made available, brothers and sisters. Take this opportunity. Declare this love. Declare this love by following the beloved sallallahu alayhi wa and truth in that. And maybe we're weak. Maybe we're weak, but Allah gave us a ladder up to truth if we're weak in our truth. Ya ayyuha ladina amanu taqullahu ittaqullaha O you who believe have taqwa of Allah and what? Be of the truth? Be sadiq like Sayyidina Abu Bakr, Siddiq? No, Allah said, wa kunu ma'a sadiqin. Be along with those who are true. Be with those who are true. Wal ma'u ma'a man ahab. And someone will be with those who they love. And someone who loves, their spirit is harmonious to the beloved, but what? The opacity of their ego comes between them and being like that. But that is a tidings that they will become like that. And the Prophet ﷺ gave them the promise and the tidings that in the hereafter they will be with them. Which means that they've realized that station ultimately. We have an opportunity, brothers. Be with the likes of, of, of Sheikh Ibrahim and take care of our brother. Assist our brother. Brothers and sisters, take care of business. Get busy. Strive, sacrifice. What are we waiting for? Dunya, a degree, wealth, family, anything. Don't let anything come between you and this. Nothing between Allah and His Messenger. What is there that we would sacrifice an opportunity for a high place in proximity to Al Habib? What is worth that? What is worth that? We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us to be of the true. And truth is not in my chest or your chest. 
It's not in my bank account or your bank account. Allah can gift it in an instant, brothers and sisters. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can give us full, complete love of him and his Habib sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can give us yaqeen. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can give us akhlaq. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can give us sidq. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can give us siddiqiyah. Can make us of those who truly sacrifice and were true in this covenant with him subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we ask him, and he is the most merciful of the merciful. We ask him by Muhammad وسلم, who has sent us a mercy to the worlds and the likes of this month. And by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's names and attributes, we ask him to grant us his love and the love of those he loves and the love of those deeds that bring us nearer to his love. And we ask Allah, the most merciful of merciful, that he makes his love dearer to us than everything else. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us a strong ittiba of Al Habib. وسلم, that we declare our love by close following of the Habib, that we follow Al Habib in our tongues and in our eyes and our ears and our faculties, that we place our feet behind his footsteps, and that Allah enables us to be like the Habib and thus beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Kul in kuntum in kuntum tuhibbun Allah, fattabiruni ihbibkum Allah. O oh Allah, we ask you to grant us your love and ittibab of Al Habib and that you love us, Ya Arhamar Rahimeen. Ya Arhamar Rahimeen, Ya Arhamar Rahimeen. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give, to give victory and, and nusra to Shaykh Ibrahim and his family and his brothers and sisters and this community and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make you a mirror of this Senate to which you have connected. Uh, that you reflect the Senate and reflect the top of the Senate, reflect the beauty of Muhammad sallallahu in these lands and that upon your hands many embrace Islam and that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala enables us to convey from him as the Prophet Sallam said, Walau ayah, balagu anni walau ayah, that Allah enables us to convey from the Prophet Sallam, even if just one verse, in our concern and our mercy and our intention for those who surround us, particularly those who are not on this on this deen, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala enables us to convey in our character and our conduct, and that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala enables us to convey with wisdom and beautiful admonition by Allah's mercy, and He's the most merciful of the merciful. When we ask Allah for His gaze. His gaze of mercy and forgiveness for all of us. All of our sins that Allah forgive our sins and turn our evil deeds into good deeds. By Allah's mercy and He's the most merciful of the merciful. And we ask Allah and He is the most merciful of the merciful. And He sent Al-Habib Sallallahu and He taught us the name of Muhammad. Allahumma inna nasaluka na wa tawajjahu ilayka bi nabiyika nabiya rahmah. We ask you and turn to you Allah by your Prophet, the Prophet of mercy. Ya Muhammad, O oh Muhammad, we ask by you, our Lord, that he enables us to have vision of him in your mirror. And Allah yuwafiqana and nushahadahu fi mir'a taha ar-rasooli. Ya Rasulullah, amamaka li tuqda alana, Allahumma shafi'ahu fina, Allahumma shafi'ahu fina, Allahumma shafi'ahu fina, wa sallallahu ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa alayhi wa sallam, alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Please excuse me.